dear students welcome to my channel topic of this video is image transform this is the fifth video on this topic and in this video i am going to discuss discrete cosine transform that is nothing but dct now let us start with the dct dct is a powerful tool in signal and image processing particularly for task like compression decomposes the signal like the fourier transform the dct breaks down a signal that it may be in image or sound form from spatial domain to the frequency domain it focuses on real valued frequencies unlike the fourier transform that uses complex number the dct operates on real numbers it captures the essential frequency information using cosine function separation via basis function dct uses set of basis function called cosine function with varying frequencies this function project the signal onto their corresponding frequencies and from input image or sound the signal gets divided into this frequency spectrum lower frequencies capture more information similar to the fourier transform lower frequency component in the dct tend to hold more significant information about the overall structure of the image higher frequency capture the detail and sharp transition like edges its main application is in compression by analyzing the dct coefficient we can identify and discard less important high frequency component this allows for efficient compression of signal and this will be clear with the example particularly for those with smooth variation like image where most details are captured by lower frequencies now see this is the dct basis image this is for n equal to 4 and n equal to 8 so when n equal to 4 16 basis image gets generated and for n equal to 8 that is n square 64 image Uh, gets generated so what is the pattern of this so if we observe for n equal to 4 here we get the pure low frequency component because it is nothing but the smooth area so that is means whatever presented signal we capture the low frequency component from the signal and it is presented in the corner next we are getting some combination of low and high but still the lower portion is more that is low frequency component is more and when we are going at this side that is right hand side down we are getting the purely high frequency component from the signal so our signal gets divided based on this pattern this is for the 64 so we can see that at last we are getting a very purely high frequency component and at start we are getting purely low frequency component and in between low and high frequency components are there so in an image mostly the energy or information is captured by the low frequency component so therefore we are taking this particular component at a uh, we are not discarding this component because they they take the most of the visual information from the image but if we see this they take a very or they carry or they contain very less energy or visual information so we can discard this particular component in lossy compression technique now with this example clear now just make uh, imagine that this image is of 8 by 8 and we are taking the uh, applying the dct transform on 8 by 8 so n equal to 8 so 64 basis as image gets generated now we can see that we are getting 64 components so this image in special domain but this whatever this matrix of 64 by 64 it is in uh, 8 by 8 it is in frequency domain that is 64 components are there if we take even only single component from the frequency domain and if we uh, go into again that is nothing but the inverse transform or inverse dct we are getting this image so this certain image is there but even we take the one component we are getting the structure the image is not clear because we are taking only purely low frequency component from the image so it is very clear that this particular dc component is very important because it captures all low frequency component from the image and present here if we take this then we are getting the image like this if we take this because this particular portion they always carry the mostly low frequency component when we are taking the three we are getting the uh, compared to first two we are getting good if we take six we are getting similar to our original image if we are taking all this component so that's why we are using this zigzag order so when we are taking this zigzag order whatever the mostly the energy components or the components which captures the maximum information of the image is gets captured and we are getting we are giving less importance to this particular type of values so if we take this particular values we are getting this image if we take this then 
so even we discard all this component that is for example if we are using lossy compression technique and out of the 64 if we only take this component and discard this component still we are getting the approximation of the image so in this way the lossy compression takes place and we are getting the good compression ratio now see this signal this is one dimension signal and if we see the value the, the signal looks sim, uh, linear in nature the values are 8 16 24 32 40 48 50 64 so these eight values are there if we apply the dct we are getting this so this is the component which captures the maximum low frequency information this is nothing but the we are getting from uh, getting less and less low frequency information and more and more high frequency information when we are going from left to right so if uh, in the uh, transform domain also we are getting the eight values but here we are using truncate or lossy compression or quantization and we are uh, skip these all four values so even we take the four values out of eight values we are taking only four values means 50 percent compression achieved and if we use only these four values and if we reconstruct the signal by using the idct and in reconstruction we use these values as zero only because we require to get again eight uh, signal having the eight length so if we take only these four values and whatever the remaining values we are appended with zero and if we apply the inverse dct we are getting the value now we can see that even by taking the four values we are getting a signal very similar to our original signal so that's why the dct is giving that it is separate out the signal and even we discard half of the component still we are getting the original signal so in this way lossy compression is achieved in dct one dimensional discrete cosine transform so this is the equation to convert from spatial domain to the frequency domain so here the cosine functions are used and this is the formula c of u is equal to a of u now the signal is in a uh, special domain so f of x is one dimension for example the signal is uh, value four values one two three four so f of x is nothing but first one value so we can capture that here our x is 0 to n minus 1 at the time we are capturing the from all values of the signal we capturing the first component that is nothing but mu u so u is 0 and for u 0 we are going from 0 to n minus 1 next is u 1 we are going from 0 to n minus 1 so in this way we this signal this for equation is used to convert from spatial domain to the frequency domain so this is a of u which is when u is equal to 0 it is 1 by n and when for other values it is 2 square root of 2 divided by n and to get back again every transform is reversible in nature so when we want again our signal from uh, frequency domain to the spatial domain we are using this reverse transform function so this is exactly opposite so this is for one dimensional when we apply for two dimensional so we require to use u as well as v and x and y so this is the equation that when we are using the two dimensional signal like image generally we are applying the signal by 2 by 2 4 by 4 8 by 8 16 by 16 so here if we want uh, we generally created the particular cosine matrix and we apply on the input image so this is for 2 so for uh, particular value that is 2 by 2 we if we put the values we are getting this answer for 4 by 4 we are getting this and for 8 by 8 we are getting this value so this is nothing but the way or door to convert from spatial domain to frequency domain so in the next example we are using this value to convert our signal from spatial domain to frequency domain exercise on one dimension signal to convert a one dimension signal from time domain to dc domain it is nothing but dct into x of n the formulas are very much similar to walsh adamard walsh transform x of n is input signal dct transformation matrix and transform signal when we require to get back again original signal in special domain we require to use uh, that is transport dct dash n into x of n so in this way here there is no question of normalization so we are required in the forward direction we require dct n into x of n and in the reverse we require that transpose into x of n now we will see the example for example the signal is given 1203 we convert into the dct domain again back to the original signal 
now dct n into x of n as signal is having four length so we are using four by four so this is already calculated by using this formula so we are using this matrix so in exam you require to remember this matrix so need need to remember up to only 2 by 2 and 4 by 4 so we are simply multiplying the matrix and we are getting this signal which is in frequency domain and if we take dct dash into x of n and if we multiply again we will get back the original signal so this proves that every transform is reversible in nature now we will see the similar example the signal is 5731 we require to convert into the dct domain so dct of n into x of n so multiply this matrix is fixed we get this signal and when we want again back a special domain signal we just multiply dct dash into x of n we will get back original signal that is nothing but 5731 now the signal length is of 2 so we require to use the dct matrix of 2 by 2 if signal length is of 3 then we are append one extra 0 and we use the dct of 4 so this is of dct of 2 by 2 so we simply multiply we will get this answer for reverse we require to use this transpose but here transpose and original is same when we multiply again we will get back the original signal this is again the similar example now we will see for the two dimensional signal so when two dimensional is there we require to apply the transform on the rows and then column so dct of n into x of n into dct of dct dash of n and here x of n is equal to dct dash n into x of n dct of n so in this way we are going to convert so this two dimensional signal is given so to convert into the frequency domain we are using dct of n into x of n into dct dash of n so this is nothing but dct 4 by 4 this is signal and this then we multiply so first multiply this signal into this signal and then resultant into this and we will get this final matrix so which is in frequency domain so if we see this component first so don't uh, see the negative or positive number uh, the important is that the way at which place they come so this component is very much important and which gives maximum visual content of the image and this component is least important at which cause for the edges or very minute details in an image which uh, resembles to the high frequency component information when we want to make reverse back then dct dash n into x of n into dct so we are getting again back the original signal here it is representation is wrong but final multiplication answer we will get the zero so actually dct dash n is this way in this way it is replaced this first matrix this this original and then but final answer we will get like this only so just exchange this matrix similarly for the second example so this is dct input image matrix we will get this and in the reverse we require to dct dash n so just to make one change by mistake it is replaced here so this should be like this way and if we do this then we will get the original answer back here also we require to make that same change so 
so two dimensional signal same that is dct 2 by 2 signal and dct dash we will get the, the signal and when we want to make a reverse back we require to here dct and dct dash n are same so this signal x of n and dct and we again get back the original signal so only important to remember that in the forward direction we require to take dct x of n dct dash n and in the reverse we require to take dct dash into x of n into dct so in this way we are converting the signal from the signal may be one dimensional or two dimensional into the frequency domain and we will again get we will again get back the original signal uh, back in the special domain without any loss but when we want to do the lossy compression at that time we are removing the components which are not important for the uh, visual uh, visual content or with which carry very less information and we can discard that component during the quantization process so this is all about the discrete cross sign transform thank you